Ladies and gentlemen, this is Anakin from Mechhead Studios. And what I got here today is the Rebels First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter. Now, this is only temporary until I get a Bandai Special Forces TIE Fighter. But um, a lot of you guys have been saying this is just a toy and whatnot. And so, yeah. And I'll be doing, first I'll be unboxing it, then building it in real time, and then do a comparison, and give you my final thoughts, final thoughts on it. So, there we go. And you gotta be careful with this part in particular, because it likes to fall out, at least on my part. And, as you notice, the model itself, it's got to be big, unlike any other models I previously built. And here's all the parts here. The extraction manual. The cockpit. Looking nice. The wings. The extra parts to assemble you know, the wings itself and whatnot. And, yes, it does come in in two pilots, so, calm down, guys. So, yeah, let's get this started. Oh. And sorry for the awkwardness. These are really... Good packaging. Yeah. And now we have extra parts to do. Here's all the parts here. Also, I should note that there's a a little something special about this particular model, in case you haven't noticed by now, that it's an electronic type. So when you pull this off and you press a certain button, I believe it's here. It plays the sound effect that we all know and love. Yep, that's about all of it. A nice look around it. Not sure how the pilots gonna sit comfortably around here. We'll just have to wait and see for the movie. So yeah. Now we gotta start the assembly itself. So here we go. First I gotta split this apart. Now let's see which one there. I believe it goes. Yep. Yep, fits in perfectly. I would just need a window panel part of view. And look at that, you don't need a glue to stick it in place. What's up? I need the top of it to, to hold it in place. Premature firing. Now you put the the opening of the wonder if there's a switch for this. Can you close it? Right here. Now you need these it's something I'm not very familiar with. I'm pretty sure this is new specifically for this. Due to the fact that it may be a bit bigger for the two pilots. So let's put these two in. Let's see what we can. Just like that. Now here's the wing parts. I just need this to snap that back in here.
Nice. I'll do it here. I'm just gonna put the things together. Yeah, this is coming out pretty big. And we got these little, little small detail things right here. Oops. Sorry about that. My first refuse, so these be nice. Yeah, here. Now the other side. Now we get a little antenna. That's not really sure what this is for. So we're again. Let's have to wait until the movie comes out. And then, lastly but not least, we get laser cannons for the front view. And is there anything else? Nope, there is. Yep, this is all of it. Unfortunately, there's no under, there's no cannons under the cockpit thing for the uh, pilot in the back here to shoot at. And as you notice, there's no window, window panel for cockpit view. So yeah, this is made specifically for this portion. Now we fire it up. It lights up. Not sure if the camera will pick it up. So there you have it. Now here are the other Revo models that I've built. And no, this isn't the one I was planning on putting first order color scheme on. Yeah, I have another one, so relax. And here's the first order, the normal one from the X Wing Miniatures 2015 starter kit. And um, here's the 15 millimeter Boba Fett and Shock Trooper. And hopefully they are good enough to fit inside, to say the least. I mean, they will definitely fit in there. Hopefully. But at the... Here's Boba Fett with the tie advance. And again, here. Again, here. Yeah, 15 millimeters will definitely work for this particular model. And I should note again that the other model sets come in in this size of packaging here. So we got Poe Dameron's X-Wing, the normal X-Wing, and of course the Millennium Falcon. I'm not very sure if the Millennium Falcon will be accurate in terms of detail, but I'm pretty sure the X-Wings are going to be yeah, just as good as the X Men, as the Tie Fire here. So, sorry. So yeah, all in all, this is a fine model for both beginners and advanced model builders. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys would want a lot of dirty stuff done to this thing, like a lot, especially on the wings. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed this, yeah, please leave a like, a comment, and whatnot, and why not subscribe? And if you want to join the Starship Modelers and whatnot, you can do so in the link description if my father's got to put it in there to begin with. So, Annie, final thought. What do you think? Bandai or the Ravel model fit? Which would you prefer? I don't really have a saying on that right now because I never built a Star Wars Bandai model kit, ever. But, um, I'd say the Bandai might be a lot more detailed, because it comes in in much more parts than this toy here. So, in all, all in all, the Revel is a fine, you know, temporary model thing. But, um, unless you have friends in Japan and whatnot, 
You're not going to get any luck on the Bandai models because I'm pretty sure the Force Awakens models are not going to come out on time for September 20th. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know why. So again, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, hopefully I get to see you guys next time for the next Revel review. And I kind of, from Mechat Studios, out.